Hello. I'm going to be fixing my laptop screen today. Um, this laptop is the Asus ROG GL551JX. Um, I ordered a replacement screen because I will show you in a second that my screen is broken. So I've already taken this out, this broken screen out, but I'll show you how to take it out um, right now. So uh, let me just connect it. So it, the laptop screen was just um, sitting in its chassis and I will turn the laptop on. Okay, it might need some juice. Actually, no, it's turned on. That should do it. Okay, so as you can see, I cracked it, and there was it was doing this weird thing where um, if I twisted it, like the screen would change colors, and sometimes it would show the picture, but sometimes it wouldn't. Like you could see the picture now, but as soon as I let go of twisting it, it would go into this weird pixelation color thing. And then I also, when I was trying to toy with it, I cracked a bunch of the the screen. So the way you take this broken screen out is um, there's a bezel and the back of the laptop right here. So you basically shove a, a knife or I used a little screw into this. So let me put this back in and redo it for you. Okay. So this is what it, your laptop or this laptop would look like. Um, and so all you do is you take your screwdriver, shove it in between the, oh, well, turn it. You should turn your laptop off. Um, let me do that right now. Okay. And you shove it in uh, right there. And then this part pops out and you should be able to just pry it out. It might take a little uh, bit of strength, like you might have to like pry one part at a time, or one segment at a time, but you should be able to get it out. You could probably pry this whole bezel off, but um, the bottom part's pretty, I need smaller fingers or I need to pry it off from the back and I am lazy. So. We take, there's four screws. Um, so one here, one here, and then two down here. Um, and all you do is unscrew them and I put them in this little container. You should you should have a little container for all your screws. Um, you unscrew them with a little screwdriver and then you tilt the screen forward. And then there's a 30 pin connector. Um, you can see it, it's right here. Uh, I will show you after I unplug it. So there should be some tape. You undo the tape and then you just pull out the connector. And there's your broken screen. Throw that away. And then this is your 30 pin connector for your new screen. This thing, if you can see that. Um, then I ordered a new screen from laptopscreen.com. Came here really quick, it was great. Um, then you find the same 30 pin connector Make sure when you're, um, when you get your laptop screen to compare the two. Um, see, they have to be like the same size pretty much and the same layout um, for this to work. And they have to be compatible. Or this screen has to be compatible with the computer. So I already did that, check this, it's the same, uh, except this one's glossy and that one's matte. Um, and you plug in the 30 pin connector. Um, and make sure it's really in there. The first time I did this, I had a, I didn't 
plug it in all the way and it didn't work and I was wondering why. Um, and it was just me being dumb. So make sure you really get it in there and make sure it's plugged in correctly. And honestly, at this point, you can just, when it's plugged in, you can check that, uh, check if it's, if the monitor works. So, all right, it's really in there, made sure. And then you turn the laptop on. What is this? Yes. Okay, it's turned on. So now you can see the laptop screen is um, working. It's saying preparing automatic repair, whatever. It's prepping the screen. I don't know what it's doing. Um, and so it's working. So the screen works. Um, so now I'm going to turn off the laptop again. Okay, and then now I'm gonna screw the screws on. Um, so you, all you do is you make sure the holes are aligned and screw each screw one at a time. Okay, so. And this might be a little tricky at the bottom if you don't take the full bezel off, um, like I did. But if you take the full bezel off, it shouldn't be that bad. Okay. Alright. That took me a little while, but all the screws are in. The screen is secure in its place. Um, all you do is snap the bezel back in. Sure you get hear a lot of these like clicking sounds. Make sure you get every one of them back so that the bezel's tight all the way up to the bottom. Okay. Um then we are business. So turn it back on. There we go. The screen works. Yeah, that's it. Pretty simple. Um, yeah, just take the full bezel off. Um, unlike me. Okay, that's it. Bye.